What up? It's Neff. Today, we're going over Freebie Frenzy. I'm going to be teaching you guys how to get Freebie Frenzy set up so you guys can check out all sorts of cool little items, warm up your accounts for things like PlayStation 5s, GPUs, and whatever. All right? Today's video today is brought to you by Nocturnal Proxies. Use code FREEBIE5 for 5% off some retail ISPs, all right? I will leave their socials, Twitter, everything down in the description below, uh, as well as probably post it up on the video right here. I will also go ahead and leave my socials, Twitter, and everything else up on the video or down in the description below as well. All right, let's get started. Proxies, that's gonna be the first thing we're gonna go over, all right? Make sure that you got Freebie Frenzy open right here. Make sure that you have this window open as well. It's going to be, uh, what is it, just a little command prompt. Do not close this. Leave it open at all times. Freebie requires it, okay? Um, right now, I know they're working on a little bit of an update or something like that to uh, make it to where this doesn't have to be ran all the time, uh, or at least it's visible to you. But in the meantime, leave it open. Just minimize it, okay? Proxies. First thing we're going to do is we are going to go over to, bam, website. Now, let me show you guys purchasing them. Oops, actually, I already have the tab open. Data center and ISPs. Let's go over to our premium retail ISPs, which is where this code will work. Add promotional code right here. Freebie 5. Apply. Get you 5% off. All right. So. Copy, copy, copy. Let's go. Add proxies here. Enter the name. Nocturnal. I've been using these actually personally for uh, for mine. I've been having great luck with them. ISPs are phenomenal for running Freebie Frenzy. Okay? You don't use up any data. You're not data limited at all. You can run them 24-7. Check out all sorts of cool stuff. All right? Save proxies. Bam. I got 25 in here for this video. Accounts. I'm going to go over to the accounts tab. Now, you have the option to import a bunch of accounts, or you can do one at a time. I'll show you how to do both ways. We're going to go over this single account. Retailer is going to be Amazon. You can't, oops, can't change that. Account name, name this whatever you want. I run ECO, so I make sure that I put the person's Discord name in there, and then like a dash one for this, their first account, that type of stuff. Email is going to be the email to the Amazon account. Password, proxy, if you have a login proxy that's associated with that account. I personally don't put one here. Then you're going to hit log into account. It's going to log in. It's going to add an echo dot to your um, cart. It's going to harvest some cookies. It's going to kick it out of your cart. It's going to clear it, blah, 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 blah. Um, browser window will close, and then you'll see a bunch of cookies get post posted there. Hit save account. Bam, that account's done, ready to go. Okay. Next is mass accounts. Here, you just post email password proxy, separated by colons, separate lines. Bam. Hit uh, add mass accounts, and then right here, click on this and log into all accounts, and it'll do the same thing I just told you with the uh, with the browser windows, except it'll do it with a bunch of them. Keep in mind that this will uh, probably lag your computer a tiny little bit if you got a bunch of a uh, bunch of them. So if you want, you can do individual little accounts. Okay. Next, we go to tasks. First thing, settings tab up here. Click on that. Make sure your webhook's in there. If you want failures, which I don't recommend clicking, if you want your failures to send also, click that. If not, just pay, post a regular webhook in here. If you don't know how to make a webhook, it's pretty simple. Create a channel in a Discord that you own, right click it, go to edit channel, then go to integrations, create new webhook, name it whatever you want, uh, put a little picture in there if you want, it don't matter. Um, hit save, then hit copy webhook link, uh, webhook link or copy link, paste that link right there. Super simple. Delay, set this somewhere between 3,000 and 5,000. I personally run 3333 for me, okay? Um, but if you're getting rate limited, up it a little bit, okay? Skew blacklist, I don't touch this. Um, but, I mean, if you want to blacklist some skews, knock yourself out, okay? Save settings, bam, you're done. All right, now add tasks. We're going to go here, mode. I personally am running... Amazon US. I'm not running Amazon US fast. I know that fast is working, but for some reason I get rate limited a lot more with uh, fast mode and I get cancels actually occasionally. So um, 
run the regular mode right now um, as of May 6, 2022. Uh, realistically, though, honestly, you should you should be paying attention to uh, to their Discord. L listen to them. They'll tell you which mode to run. I'm not one of the developers for them, so I'm just making this video to kind of help you guys out. Run external items will run for uh, any type of deals that are not on their normal list. Um, if they push a quick little uh, skew for everybody real quick, or maybe PlayStations are dropping and they want to make it to where you guys can potentially check out PS5s, Freebie has checked them out before. This is the button you want to push, okay? So I s recommend having this selected for every single one of your tasks. But at your keywords, this is where you can uh, uh, filter out certain things. Excuse me, uh, certain items. If you don't want phone cases, just do dash phone. Bam. You know? So, or dash case, whatever you want. Okay? Minimum percent off. So, here's a little tip for you guys, too, when it comes to when it, when it comes to accounts. All right? Um, I should have went over this in the accounts tab, but I'm going to do it now. I recommend running teen accounts. Now, in order to make teen accounts, you have to have a prime account that they're under. All right? But... You can put four teen accounts under one single account. Those teen accounts will make it to where you can approve and deny all orders. So you don't actually pay for anything until you actually approve it. I believe you get like 72 hours or something like that to approve an order. So you got plenty of time to check, okay? Um, for my teen accounts, I set the minimum percentage off at 80%. For my main prime account, I set the minimum percentage at 95%. So I'm not checking out a bunch of things because on my main prime account, I don't approve or deny the items. That stuff just gets shipped. So just keep that in mind. Okay. So 80% for a teen account, minimum price. I leave alone accounts, select whatever account you're using or all accounts, proxy list, select your proxy list task per uh account please leave that at one you don't need more you're gonna rate limit the hell out of your account okay just leave it at one hit add tasks and then bam you're good to go hit start all or the little uh play button on all the accounts right here and it'll get your accounts running leave it running 24 7 you're good to go okay so uh if there's a, if for some reason the account's not logging in or the task isn't starting uh starting check your accounts tab make sure that the, that the cookies are good on it okay you might have to fix it once in a while that's gonna be it for you guys today okay again like i said this video has been brought to you by nocturnal proxies use code freebie five for five percent off retail premium isps i'll see you guys in the next video have a good one